I want to jump to this story. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's fun. So we'll talk about it. It's kind of scary. Uh, Kate Middleton, is that the, the, the princess of Wales? Is that her? Yes, yeah. John Oliver said, quote, there is a non-zero chance that she died 18 months ago. I've not really followed this story all that much. Basically, what happens is this, uh, it's actually right here. This photoshopped image emerges of Kate Middleton and her kids, I guess. I really don't know a whole lot about the, the royal families or, or whatever. But basically, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, the story is like Kate Middleton went on sabbatical and, and was gone for a long time. And then everyone's like, oh, she's back. But it's just text and newspaper. And then these photos come out, more than one photo that are of her photoshopped. And then John Oliver, not a fan of the guy, sparks outrage by saying there is a non-zero chance she died 18 months ago. Yeah, you know, this is one of those weird ones that kind of spun up in these little like subcultures on social media and everyone's tracking this, like the princess disappeared, where'd she go? And you have this post, which is essentially supposed to be like proof of life from the royal family. Like they're putting this out to quell the the craziness on social media. And I, there's the photo right there. Look at all of these like inconsistencies, like the sleeve is vanished. So it's like obviously Photoshopped. And then what was eventually discovered yeah. was uh, the face was like pulled from a Vogue magazine cover, one-to-one uh, mm -hmm. -one copy, like obviously photoshopped and it was actually you know a news blast went out to different agencies of like pull this from your articles like this is not a real image um there was like a delisting from really? one of these like news guard type groups saying like pull this don't put this in your cover because it's a fake photo and then they double down they post another one it's fake too that's like this is kind of getting crazy right i mean what's the second uh, photo uh it's in her in a car uh it's like her side profile um, and you know, you see the exact dimple and they pull from, uh, is it this one? Yes. Yeah. You um, can't even see her face. Yeah. And so mm. they actually pull another image from her in another magazine and it's one-to-one -one copy again. Whoa. And it's not her. Wow. Um, and you know, there's, this is kind of, it's also speculative, but like, this is pretty bad. Like, why haven't you come out at this point and proven she's alive or at least in good health, right? Like this is, is wild. I don't know. Like stuff like this happens. Remember when that football player collapsed on the field? Yeah. yeah. Everyone said he was dead. And then some dude showed up wearing a mask and like mm. waving. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, what's going on? And then and then like a week later he's like, Oh yeah, here I am. And yeah. we're like, oh <laughs> I, I was like, I swear he's gonna he's gonna come out and y'all like y'all getting tricked or whatever, but this is kind of crazy. I, I can't imagine she's dead. I mean, maybe maybe she got like a botched surgery or something. Yeah. Well, I think the real interesting part of the story. And, you know, obviously we hope she's good and well, is that we've reached this point in time on social media in particular, where a very real lifelike image, you have to zoom in and analyze each granular detail to affirm that it's real. Oh, this, and, is, this is Kate Gate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah I didn't know what that was That's when trending. I saw it on Twitter, because I don't care about the, the royal family. Yeah, but I, I mean, it's really, it's hitting this point. And, you know, obviously the election's right around the corner. You can't confirm any photo is real independently. Like, there is really no proof unless you were there that this thing even happened. And it's happening very quickly. Uh, and the average person has no idea that this is even possible. And then it gets posted from a news agency. And yeah. now it's fact. And it happens that quickly. She was apparently at some kind of Christmas service with her family. Somebody sent me something about it. I don't know. So basically, I learn of this because... The view erupts into chaos during a fiery debate over Kate Middleton's photoshopping controversy as Whoopi Goldberg slams co-hosts for buying into conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh, man. You know, life's fun sometimes, right? <laughs> oh, I guess, yeah. They're, what is this? They think it's fake. They th oh, even the view said that photo was fake. Wow. I don't. I don't know if we should care about this princess or whatever. It must be real. Then. I just like. I, I just think these stories are fascinating. Where it's like prominent, high-profile people are uh, are missing. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like for every one of these we catch, how many do we miss? Right? Like when they do these fake photo blasts and that's obviously shot, photoshopped or AI generated. How many do we miss that go into the history books as fact? Well, if you think this is fun, look into Britney Spears and the fact that she is definitely not alive. Really? Like if you, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because like all those little inconsistencies that were pointed out there, if you go through all oh, TikTok, sorry, but if you go through the rabbit holes on TikTok, there are tons and tons of people that have spent hours going through her her videos, not photos, but videos. And it none of it makes sense because you see all these crazy videos of Britney Spears, right. right? It's all filmed from the same angle in the same direction, same angle, same. But like her eyes get blurry and they change like it's her, her fingers turn into like two fingers. It's, I mean, it's it's. It's crazy. AI yeah. generated Could video. Be. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm, I'm sold on it, but then I'm hey, crazy. So I haven't looked into it, but 
I'm going to now. <laughs> bon I mean, voyage. It, it, it honestly could just be she has a crappy camera on a tripod in the same spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we're we're in this era now where you can't just believe you can't believe anything. Right. I mean, we're lucky that how do you how do you even put out such a bad Photoshop? Right. I mean, this is like a gift. It's uh, it's like a clue was given to us because it's so egregiously pulled from that. I think it was Vogue magazine cover, the first one. Uh, they could have chosen a much more obscure photo that was harder to track down. Uh, this is like Google search results, first page potentially, uh, one to one face replica. Um, and so it, it really is just crazy. It was a Vogue cover, you said? I believe it was Vogue, yeah. Um, if you do it with Kate Gate, it probably comes right. Actually, that photo oh, right no. there on the oh, side. Oh, wow. Uh, go one to the, take the mouse over. Yeah, that one with this. The, yeah. So they've done the, the comparison. Oh, they, oh, I see, I see, yeah. I see. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> it's the exact same face. <laughs> I mean, some people yeah, are really good at making the same face. What? To be fair. Well, they layer them and they like slowly wow. make it. Yeah, you uh, reduce the alpha yeah. and so that they blend together and then you, you notice like they're all the same. Yeah. Well, then you zoom in on these other inconsistencies and it's like the uh, arms have different uh, fields of depth, right? Like yeah, that nothing makes sense. syncs up. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Once you get that first clue, like the whole thing falls apart. So is Paul McCartney still alive? Uh, no, he's a lizard. He's a, he's a, <laughs> he's a reptilian. Yeah. Well, because you know that one, right? That Paul McCartney died. Mm -hmm. You guys don't know that one? No. Nah. You know that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Paul yeah. is dead. It play, when you play yeah. the record backward, it supposedly said Paul is dead. And everybody said that they switched him out for a body double. Yep. Yeah. Because they were worth too much money. You can't have the band stop now. We're, we're getting paid if Paul's not there. And so then mm. the conspiracy theory shows like at this point, you know, so, so Paul, uh, Paul McCartney's in a car accident, says he got like a minor scar or something. At the same time, there's a Paul McCartney lookalike contest they 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 hold. I don't really? know, I don't know if this is true or whatever. <laughs> but then it's this, a lot of this, fun though. It's the right. This is the conspiracy <laughs> theory that Paul was swapped out because there was too much money to be made and they couldn't just shut it down. And I watched this this video on it on YouTube, I think. And they're like, around the time of the car accident, you'll notice that Paul and John stopped playing next to each other. They used to stand on stage oh. and sing in the same microphone, and they were friends. After this accident, all of a sudden they're not friends anymore, and this is why the band eventually breaks up because. John knows it's not actually Paul or whatever. So then, since he finds out, they have to get rid of him too, and then no, no, no. The band John knew the whole time, but later down the line, no, no. The, the the band knew that Paul dies. Right. This is the conspiracy theory, and John okay. was not was was best friends with Paul, but the fake Paul is not really his friend. So maybe he didn't want to go along with it anymore. Though. I don't believe any of it. Know. It's funny because they're like, look at this photo where Paul appears to be taller than shorter, and I'm like, it's called the camera angles, dude. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Like. Maybe, but I think the reality is she's probably just got like a botched surgery. Yeah. And that's it. Or, or, or regular surgery. She's going in for like a nose job or some stupid facelift or something. And they're like, you're going to need to recover for, for, for three months. And then they're like, how do we keep the public, you know, from going crazy? You'll put out a fake photo and then they do this. Yeah. I mean, Royal family has had some hard times recently. Obviously, Harry's a nightmare and uh, the passing of the queen. Maybe she just wants a break, right? She's also a public figure. She might've just like gone on a, prolonged sabbatical and they need to generate photos to make people they could have just did like mind. a pre-surgery photo shoot though to, <laughs> yeah. to have original photos for yeah. all these future events yeah i i i i don't care for the i, I gotta be honest Likewise. i i've re repeatedly asked for an app that could remove can someone make a browser extension that removes what's her name i'm glad i don't remember her name kate middleton no no megan no. megan markle megan oh. markle <laughs> yeah. there you go can we get a browser extension that makes it so that any mention or reference of uh, Megan and Harry just will be purged from the website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Although, I guess, the uh, yeah, it should be fine, right? They could they could do that. Just make them keywords and be like, don't show me these. Yeah, but then, you know, you'll, I'll never see them again. It's the stupidest yeah. thing in the world. They're, they're people of no merit that do literally nothing. And for some reason, there's an obsession with them. Like, I don't understand why. Well, uh, Heritage is suing to deport Harry. Um, Are you so really? Cross your fingers. That wait, wait, no, is that out. true? Yeah, the Oversight Project. It's one of our uh, uh, groups inside of Heritage. We're suing for his immigration records and spare uh, his book. He talks about, uh, you know, he does all these drugs and everything, which obviously would implicate your ability to get a visa. Um, and so we're essentially suing for just that, the, the transparency on uh, the drugs and everything. If he got a free pass um, and... 
uh, yeah, hopefully. Oh, he, he gets, definitely uh, did. Yeah, so hopefully he gets sent back. That's um, pretty dope. Yeah. Send him back. I support yeah. that. Check out the oversight That's project. That's a very cool idea. Trump, great work. Trump gets elected, and he's like, the first one we're deporting is Harry. He's got to go. Top of the list. You got to go back. Can't stay. Yeah, uh, he's the first one. And I, I support it because it is, you know, I read the news all day, every day. And it is the worst thing in the world how often their names appear on websites. And I'm just like, stop. But yeah. they're not going to because people click it for some reason. And I'm like, is the least relevant thing in the world. South Park made fun of them. Mm. Their privacy tour. Oh, why won't everyone oh, leave yeah. us? Just leave us alone. And like, that explains it, man. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored, members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.